hey guys welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to wrap up this project and finish the texturing for this boat house so in our last video we textured the wood part and the glass i made the glass a little bit darker by changing the base color so in this one we are going to finish the windows doors and the metallic part so for the door what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my wood texture set and i'm going to select these and i'm going to copy this and then go to boat house and i'm going to paste these here put them in a group and uh, rename it as door then i'm going to add a black mask and uh, i'm going to apply these layers to only the door and the window so i've set the polygon fill to this mesh fill and i'm going to select the door frame and the windows now we have a lot of height information in this material so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the base material of this group and i'm going to change the height range and also the normal intensity and i think 0 0.025 should be fine and also i'm going to change the tiling to something like this and let's go to this metal edge wear and i'm going to turn it down a little bit and i'm going to remove the black mask from this rust material and go to the smart mask and we're going to drop the occlusion or the sand cavity and drop it here let's select this mask editor and i'm going to turn down the balance we don't want that much dirt on this texture also i'm going to turn down the opacity to something like this and i think we are done with the door and the windows and for the metallic part let's go to texture set list and select this metal material and i'm going to take a new fill layer and uh, change the metallic value all the way to one turn down the roughness do something like this make it a little bit darker or we can pick a color from here let's add a new fill layer and i'm going to turn off every channel except for the roughness and we are going to add a surface roughness which is going to be very subtle so i'm going to add a fill here and go to my procedural maps and let's take something like this and drop it here we are also going to use this as a stencil to add some rust now i'm going to take a metal material so i'm going to select this iron row or this iron row damaged drop it here right click add a black mask and add a generator and i'm going to select this metal edge wear to create a wear and tear effect around the edges something like this
and I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Let's take a new fill layer and turn off metal normal and height. And I'm going to increase the roughness all the way to one and add a black mask then a fill and we're going to add another procedural map for the dirt so i'm going to select this dirt muddy and drop it here go here and change the color to something dark like this and uh, change the tiling and increase the balance just a little bit maybe i'll keep the tiling to one and just work with the balance like this now let's go to materials and i'm going to select this rust fine drop it here and uh, add a black mask then generator and i'm going to add this dirt dripping let's change the color to make it a little bit darker to match with the environment like this and uh, increase the spreading just a little bit now i'm going to add this one more time and change the tiling to three turn the normals on and add a black mask then add a paint and in this paint i'm going to take the same grunge map we used before So we use this grunge leaks so i'm going to scroll down and in the stencils i'm going to drop it here like this and i'm going to change the view to 3d and 2d and locate this change the size of my stencil and increase the brush size and paint over like this Change the color of the rust to something like this. And at last, we just need to add some scratches. So I'm going to take another fill layer and add a black mask, then add a fill. And here we can search for scratch and drop it here. Let's go to height and uh, turn down the height value to add some depth in the scratches. Minus 0 0.35 should be fine. And uh, let's change the color to something like this. Also increase the roughness. Now select this scratch and uh, i'm going to change the quantity a little bit increase the balance and change the length now one more thing you can do is i'm going to duplicate this and on this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to just change the values a little bit something like this 
and on this crunch i'm going to add a filter and i'm going to use this blur slope and this blur slope will give it a much better damage look so if i turn this off these are a regular scratch and with the blur slope so you can change the intensity if you want so i'll just keep it at 0 0.1 and also i'm going to reduce the height value a little bit more and uh, increase the grunge quantity like this and these are our regular scratches so i'm going to turn down the opacity a little bit and i think our texturing is done so that's it for this model and i'm going to just render it real quick and see how it looks so this is the final result of our boathouse model and we're going to finish this video here and i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new you can also follow me on the instagram and join my discord server all the links are given in the description i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching